Hi, uh, I'm Phil Nash from Datastax, and this is how to use the Langflow API in Node.js. Now, Langflow is a fantastic low-code tool for building generative AI flows and agents, especially as it comes with a playground in which you can test out your flows as you're building them. But once you have built your flow, you want to integrate it into your own application, and that's where the Langflow API comes into play. If you're building a Node.js application, you could construct API calls using Fetch or the HTTP module, or your favorite HTTP client like Axios or Got. But to make it a bit easier, we created a JavaScript Langflow client for you. So let's take a look at how it works. Okay, so to demonstrate this Langflow client, uh, I'm going to need a flow. Uh, so I'm here in Langflow, I'm going to create a new flow for myself. For this one, I'm going to use the simple agent. Uh, this uh, agent flow is a great uh, demonstration of an agent with a couple of tools. In this case, uh, one that can reach out to access URLs and another to use a calculator. Uh, I just need to set up my open AI API key with this uh, and it should just work. Great, so that's built. And then I can look at it in the playground uh, and ask it something like, uh, what is 87 times 96? Um, so that should get it to use its calculator tool to calculate that for itself. Uh, and there we go, the answer is 8,352. Um, that's correct. Uh, hopefully you'll take my word for that. But we need to, we want to now use this in our application. Uh, and that's where the API comes into uh, hand. So the API modal uh, gives you everything you need. Uh, so let's start writing some code. Uh, I'm going to start by installing uh, the Langflow client. So that's npm install data stack slash Langflow client. Uh, once that's installed, I will import it into my application. Uh, so we're going to import Langflow client from DSS Langflow client. And then I'm going to set up two uh, variables that I need, a Langflow ID and a flow ID. So the Langflow ID and the flow ID are both in the URL here. Uh, the Langflow ID uh, is here at the start after uh, slash LF. Uh, if you're using a self-hosted Langflow, you don't get a Langflow ID, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, but you will get a flow ID, which is at the end here after slash run. And so that's Langflow ID. Uh, and then in Datastax Langflow, you can generate yourself an API token right here as well. Uh, I actually ge generated one earlier, so I'm just going to get that um, out of uh, the environment. Add Langflow API. There we go. And now we can generate ourselves, create ourselves a Langflow client. That is a new Langflow, and we'll pass in the Langflow ID and the API key. And then uh, using that, we can get a flow from the client. So it's client.flow, and then we pass into that the flow ID. Uh, and now we can um, get the results. Uh, so we're going to await flow.run. Um, and we're going to ask it the same question. What is uh, 87 times 90, 96? Uh, and then let's console.log the result. Great. Uh, so that's our entire bit of code that we're going to use. Uh, and if I run this now with npm start, uh, that is going to call off to the flow and get the response back. And the response back uh, is this flow response, which has a session ID and then some outputs. And the outputs is an array of inputs and outputs. Uh, so we can kind of dig into this. We can go to the results uh, outputs, and we can get the first one, and we can get the outputs of that first one. And uh, if we run that again, uh, then we can see that there's even more stuff inside the outputs. Uh, there's actually the Langflow API response gives you all the information about the flow that you could ever want. Um, but uh, we can see that in the middle of there, there is a message saying 87 times 96 is 8352. Uh, and one nice thing about the um, library here uh, is that we get this one uh, method on the flow, which gives you the chat output text. And that is the response uh, that you get straight from the flow in text. And so if you just want to reach directly into that and get the output, you can use the chat output text function and it will just return uh, 8352. Great. So that's how to use the Langflow client in Node.js. It works with both Datastax hosted Langflow or self-hosted Langflow, and it's available now. In this video, we've looked at the first release, so do try it out and get in touch on the GitHub repo, which is linked in the description, if you have any issues, questions, or feature requests. Oh, and if you do like it, do leave a star. Happy coding.